In this video, we're going to talk about linear combinations and spanning in the context of an arbitrary vector space. So let's suppose we've got a vector space V. And we have a collection of vectors in that vector space, B1, B2, B3, Bn. Now, since we're in a vector space, we're allowed to add vectors and we're allowed to rescale vectors. So you're allowed to do both things together. So a linear combination is what happens when you rescale B1, rescale B2, rescale Bn, and add them all together. So that's a linear combination. So for example, you might work in R3 and you say, let's start off with, let's call this vector B1 and this vector B2. And I claim that 3, 1, negative 4 is a linear combination of B1 and B2 because it's minus 1 half B1 plus 7 halves B2. And you can check the arithmetic. 7 halves minus a half is 3. 0 minus a half of negative 2 is 1. Minus 7 halves minus a half is negative 4. OK. We could work in a different space. We could work in the space of quadratic polynomials and look at the polynomial 3 plus t minus 4t squared. That's a vector. It's an element of the space. We could call this b1 and this b2. So b1 is the polynomial 1 minus 2t plus t squared, and b2 is the polynomial 1 minus t squared. And you can check that 3 plus t minus 4t squared is minus a half of 1 minus 2t plus, 2T squared, plus t squared, plus 7 halves of 1 minus t squared. You add it up. And in fact, the arithmetic looks an awful lot like the arithmetic of this problem. OK, so that's what linear combinations are. Now, the span of a collection of vectors, span is both a noun and a verb. When we use it as a noun, we say the span of a collection of vectors is the set of all possible linear combinations you can get from those vectors. So for example, if we're in R3, you might be interested in the span of the vectors 1, negative 2, 1, and 1, 0, negative 1. If this is the first vector, and this is the second vector. It's everything that you go, get by taking a multiple of b1 plus a multiple of b2. That gives you all points in the plane that contains b1 and b2. And in fact, it turns out to be the plane given by the equation x plus y plus z equals 0. You can see that this satisfies that equation, this satisfies that equation, and 37 times this plus 24 times that also satisfies the equation. Any linear combination will have the sum of all three coordinates equal to 0. We could do the same thing in an arbitrary vector space. If we looked at the space of quadratic polynomials, we might ask, what's the span of 1 minus 2t plus t squared and 1 minus t squared? And it turns out to be all quadratic polynomials, c0 plus c1 plus c0 plus c1t plus c2t squared with c0 plus c1 plus c2 being 0. Or to put it another way, it's all quadratic polynomials that when you evaluate it at t equals 1, you get 0. That's a perfectly good, ve good vector space, and it's the span of these two vectors. Now, we can also use span as a verb. If the span of a bunch of vectors is the entire vector space, we say that the, the collection of vectors spans the vector space. So in R2, 1, 0, and 0, 1 span the vector space, because absolutely any vector can be written as a linear combination of 1, 0, and 0, 1. If you want to get the vector 3, 17, you just take 3 times 1, 0, plus 17 times 0, 1. You could also say that 1, 0, 0, 1, and 1, 1 span R2. You can get any vector as a linear combination of these three guys. You get 3, 3 17 takes 3 times this, plus 17 times this, plus 0 times this. You don't need the third guy, but it doesn't do you any harm. It still spans. In this case, there was a certain amount of overkill. In the next video, we'll talk about measuring overkill and the notion of linear independence.